Hello, brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters. How are you doing with this? So, boy, who can we see the code? I'm back again with another interesting video. Man, you love this. Yeah, so I'm in Sunyani Zongo, yeah, and I saw this group of people making peanut butter or peanut paste. In Ghana, there's two popular ways we use peanut butter or peanut paste. One is we use it as a margarine inside bread, yeah? <laughs> and secondly, we use this peanut butter or peanut paste to make our top delicacy soup. One of the delicious soups we have in Ghana. So anytime you visit Ghana, tell them that you want to try peanut butter soup. Ghana version and Ghana made. Man, you go crazy about it. It was really amazing to see how the production is done from frying to pounding to peel off the skin. Man, you really enjoyed this video. So if today is your first time watching, kindly subscribe, turn on notification bell so be notified when new video drops. Follow us on Facebook, TikTok, tell a friend, tell a brother. Let's do this. This record one. <laughs>to do peanut butter or peanut paste you need fried peanuts and since frying and pounding the peanut is hectic the recruited boys or workers that will be doing this work so to start everything you first pour the raw peanuts inside the tank this is a special tank made for this frying and i think i've seen other production not the peanut that they also use this kind of tank for their frying okay so half bag or half sack of peanuts inside the tank about 25 kilos inside the tank and one person will be rolling this tank for an hour or more before everything gets ready you can leave it on road if not peanuts will get bent so to verify or to confirm that the peanut is okay you need to open the top of the tank and uh take some of the peanuts to verify if it's okay when everything is done someone will help you discharge the tank from the on top of this fire because this is a heavy tank and it's also hot so you need to be very careful so this takes one hour before it gets ready you see how she's uh, he's rolling um uh, the rotator i don't know if it's rotator or what they call it yeah but he will rotation it and uh yeah because if you leave it it will get bent so you need to rotate rotate I'll say everything is okay inside. Wow. Inside the fire. Man, it's crazy. This boss man here is really relaxing, yeah? So you see how the mechanics works. Yeah. So this is ready. And uh, this is how they open it. So it's ready. Wow. Interesting. I mean... It's what, what the boss say? Wow, I'm really, really scared for them because. What you fast, you know, Hey, So, wow. Hey, you can't follow that. I was there. Third degree, oh. Mamma mia. And this is not so they will now come and spread this. Chuck, hey, people are really suffering somewhere. Like it's the temperature, the heat and everything they go through before they get us some, some kind of food to eat. It's not easy. Wow. Over there too, it's like the one ready for for, for, for for the machine. So they're going to grind it. Yeah, so we have this our mom over here spreading it so the air can circulate and uh, to make it cool. And once the peanuts are cooled, that's where the pounding begins. Sometimes they can even rebag 
the, the peanut the fried peanut inside the sack then they will be pounding them gradually or into pieces so the pounding is basically to peel the skin from the peanut and it's even not done 100 percent and also the peanuts have the skin being removed some do have the skin attached to it and also what they told me is that some people also love to blend or to grind their peanut with the with the skin because they believe that grinding the peanut together with the skin is is healthy because it contains some fiber properties and other beneficial properties so when the pounding is done they will reel bag it again seal it then they'll transport it to the grinding mill that's where the grinding will take place and after grinding they store it in large quantities and uh, they will export them to the markets for consumption. They have other markets, ladies, that also come to just buy the peanuts without grinding, okay? That's when you go to the market, you see that they sell only peanuts. So we have sample here, you see? So after pounding the, the granules, they go on and, 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 and grind it. Come on. Yeah, so go and grind it. You see how, you see how thick? It didn't stick inside the spoon. You see? Look. It didn't stick. It's not sticking, man. This is real. This is real correct 100% peanut. Wow. Move for me behind for me. Move for behind for me. Behind me. Behind me. Run this. Ah, with him the big pan. Pan, no, yeah. Mm. So yeah, here in Ghana, you can you can eat bread with, with peanuts, yeah? Peanut paste like that. Uh, you open your bread instead to do them. You use it inside. So, mommy is a chief pounder. Yeah. But how many years? Why, why are they wait? Listen. Hey, me. I come for twenty. Almost twenty years that she has been doing this. But a, a wild wow business. Mm. A wild wow business. Mm. Okay. I'm here and I'm She says my father will be out. Be So for the twenty years that she has been doing this and that she has been grinding, uh, frying the, this thing. What do you call it? The granite and pounding. But now she has workers that they help her to do it. Like interesting business. Yeah, so this is the wood that they use for the final. Yeah, so basically this is how peanut butter is done and i hope you've enjoyed this video if this is your first time watching remember to subscribe to the notification bell so be notified when a new video drops so i have a campaign going on support my traveling where i'll be going back to africa to do this kind of videos and i'll be needing your support through donations okay so i've created some links that you can support or donate over there so there's paper there's go find me and there's momo transfer or money transfer so in the description box you can find these links and the one that is convenient to you Click on it and make your support and donate to support my traveling so that I can bring you more stuff and also to enlighten other food from Africa countries. So let's do this again. Who could we say in that Tell a friend, tell a brother, let's do this again. For Shazama Nezo or Okodo, I'm out. One. <laughs>